Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to get number of files in a particular folder by using skip term. So first of all I will show my folder. This is D drive files files folder. In this in this path you find there are 35 items. So including the folders that are other folders also. There are five folders and the rest of the um, items are files. So if you execute the package, you need to get 30 files. That is the number from this path. So uh, how to write the code in the script task, I will show in this demo. So first of all, you need to create two variables. First is count, count and second one is source path. Source path is nothing but where your files are located, that is the path. And here you need to paste your value of your source path, D drive files. files. This is the path. And I am closing this one. Next, I am dragging the script task into the control pane. If you double click, select the user variables that you, you have created just now. One is count and second one is source path. And go to edit script. Here, you need to write code how to read the files from the data and how to get, how to show the number of the files by using the message. I will show now. The script window is getting opened now. You need to add whenever you uh, read the files from a folder. You need to mention namespace system.io. System.io. This helps to read the files from the folder. And go to public void main directly. Paste your code here. Now I will explain the page. First, you, you need to declare one source path variable, local variable, which is whose data type is a string. In DTS dot variables, you, you need to mention the user variable, user variable that we have created and convert it to two string. And second is the integer. This is my second variable, CNT, and make it as a zero. So, third will, um, variable you need to create is a, is a directory. It's a directory info. You need to mention your source path that is created, that is a local variable within the directory info. Next, file info is the array class. By using this files variable, you need to read from, from the directory and get all files. Get all files into Within the double quotes, within the parentheses, you need to mention star. That means it will retrieve all files from this directory, from this directory path. Path we already provided D drive files. So next, we use the for each file info class, file info, file in files. Within the curly braces, you need to mention CNT, CNT plus one is equal to one. Message box that is show file name. So first it will show. Uh, all file names then it, it will give the message box dot show cnt dot to string then it will give 30 the number of files in the, the in that folder is 30 files so this is the file and it did dts dot variables and user dot count dot value convert to this to int count this variable this is the path this is the code i will paste this code in the description box just you need to make it understand properly the rest of the things are very easy it is easy to uh, understand as well so i am saving this code close it and okay once again it is only 30 files if you exclude the five folders in the part now you go and run your package see here Country dot text. This is the one of the text document. If you see and go for country here, it is showing alphabetically. 
country dot text see here country text document and second one is country dot excel country dot excel also is there and next course 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 dot txt these are the files because we make the in, in the message box to show all the name of the files so after after showing this all these files finally it gives the number person player not text file it will show alphabetically from country to sample sample 1 sample 2 std student dot student dot student 3 dot text student 4 dot text student detail dot text total employee data dot csv this is also um, one of the file name total see here total employee dot csv form type and and finally it is showing Tati. so you don't want all these file names just you want to number you need to make you have to make comment on one line of this code then you will get exactly the number of the files in that folder so i will show so go down completely and make this uh, this message box dot show file name if you make um, comment this line and save this package close it and click ok now if you run you will get only the number see here 30 30 files in that folder so this is how you need to uh, write the, your script to know the files from a particular folder so thanks for watching the video thank you very much